Hello everybody and welcome to Journeyman League. We're at round three of season nine here at Niagara Falls. We return to a track that, well, when it was last race, Journeyman League didn't exist. So it's the very first time that we've got these drivers, these teams going around this circuit. It should be an absolute delight, a fantastic circuit, historic in the UR2D context. Championships have been decided here, uh, w winning, I believe, the season nine vote. So, um... It should be a really entertaining race uh, ahead of us today. We've got a full grid, 19 drivers, including Hank, uh, making their debut today. So, uh, lots to look out for. Figuera, uh, Figuera, there we go, uh, by now a hundredth of a second, currently on pole position, just ahead of Juan, um, a rising prodigy in the UR2D world. Should be a really uh, interesting to see how they do. Uh, in this race, uh, Goose, your sort of your predictions for the race here today. Um, I'm just trying to keep it between the lines right now. I've had two bad laps, so I'll be with you in a minute. Alrighty, well I'll meet you up just for the time being then. Uh, and yeah, uh, we've got uh, Saucy now provisional pole position. It's uh, a couple tenths there between uh, themselves and Figueroa. It's uh, 27.75 as we had. Onto the third lap of qualifying, we've got Juan making his way round the track and they improve on third position currently. Figuera, Enigma up to P2, front row start for the former UL driver. Uh, Juan and R3 down to those lower positions uh, as it is here. We have Saucy starting from pole position for Solaris. Rykar Supernova's Enigma starts alongside him on the front row. Figuera only third for Ferro Verde. Uh, then we've got Juan and R3, the independent drivers, in 4th and 5th. Gorlomi will start 6th ahead of Goose in 7th for the Diaz Racing Team. Pumpkin starts 8th ahead of Kazir and Zelinda will start 10th place. Behind we've got Fabrizio and Priya sharing the 6th row of the grid. Ruski ahead of Hank, a good qualifying on debut for the independent driver. Masca Bravis, the veteran driver, uh, just ahead of Krunk and Vepa and Fox and Amwa will round up the grid only 1.6 seconds from top to bottom. It's really not that much field spread uh, for our Formula 3 style league. If you're watching this, you want to get involved. This is our entry level league. The links to the uh, Discord server and to the um, Steam link to the game are all in the description of this video. So keep an eye out for that. We're just going to look through the settings to make sure everything is as it should be 20 laps ahead of us and 10% rain that looks all good to me almost ready to go here at Niagara Falls the track where we race around waterfalls somehow uh, I'm sure that is physically possible I think Danny did base it off real life roads or sort of paths at the very least yeah <laughs> it should be a thoroughly entertaining one um, we've got a couple hairpins, you've got turn one, the two and three complex, obviously quite tight and twisty. You need to be really careful heading through there. 20 laps ahead of us here, soft and medium for most of the field. We're underway here in Niagara, Saucy stalls off the line, Enigma immediately jumps into the lead. He's going to defend from Figuera, who makes an attempt up the inside into turn one, into the sweeper. Can't get the move done there, what about coming out of turn four? Down that straight, he can! And Juan putting Enigma under pressure, now Saucy dropped down to fourth, but he shoves Juan around a little bit there. Goose and Gorlomi, Zelinda and Kassir, and R3 in this pack down to ninth position. R3 makes two positions up, coming out of the bridge, can he? make it three as he comes out through here he got slightly held up I think behind Saucy he's now going side by side with Kazir up the main straight onto the second lap here it's three wide for the lead Juan Enigma and Figuera going through Figuera force wide our championship leader off into the grass there Enigma and Juan very much coming out of that better and again through that next corner a bit too much grass for the Portuguese Japanese racer Kazir the Turk up the inside of Goose battling it's still Saucy looking to recover from that storm off the grid can he make his way up he's currently holding fifth position ahead of the Diaz car of Goose and of course Gorlomi behind it's gonna be four wide into turn one Kazir currently leads this pack oh no look like Saucy took a bit of wall there I think he just escaped it indeed Gorlomi uh, ahead of Goose who takes a bad line through there three wide across the bridge can Figo make a good move to the outside here just about slips in there 
Uh, Saucy back up the inside into the final two or three corners. We've already got a car parked up. It is our three who on the opening lap has decided he will take no further part in this race. Parked up before the first pit box on his second lap and that is devastating to see a driver so promising and so talented uh, out of this race. Already Juan with a slight move forcing Enigma off. That is not really what you want to see in your uh, lead fighters but for the uh, independent car in, in the independent car rather uh, just taking the lead there, Saucy up the inside of Enigma, makes a mistake, he's going to have Gorlami right behind uh, the fastest lap holder as it stands on the medium compound tyre no less, so maybe a bit of slipstream involved in that one. Saucy went wide, I think Gorlami right into the back of him, that allows Figo to go through, chase after the Dutchman up ahead of him, uh, and of course the Belgian out the front, I believe that is the Belgian one. Uh, Kassir in 6th place currently holding off the two Diaz cars behind it looks like Zelinda due to ping issues might have just taken Goose into the wall a little bit there so definitely uh, need to be more careful around your teammates Zelinda though looking to put pressure on Kazir up ahead if he can through these sweeping first, second and third corners. A really interesting technical part of racetrack where uh, if you make a mistake it can cost you all the way through that complex. Zelinda off the track there, teammate Goose there uh, to back him up. One of four drivers out of our 19 here today to start on the hard compound. We've got another five starting on the soft and all the rest, I believe that's nine drivers if my math is right, on the medium compound tyre, maybe 10 drivers, I'm not that good at maths, uh, Figo just ahead of Enigma, Kazir and big saucy Italian woman still fighting it out over 5th and 6th positions, Zelinda and Goose Fabrizio will give a bit of love to our lower runners, Ruski heading just uh, Priya at the moment, former uh, well, and current RMC reserves, the both of them, Hank uh, in their first race, just ahead of Crunk here today, the uh, famous Canadian, famed for his banter off the track, but also sometimes his racing acumen on it. Uh, Saucy is our first driver into the pit lane, the podium contender so far in this race, looking uh, at an undercut potentially, uh, seeing how they could do. Uh, 13th in the championship as it stands, uh, with 12 points to their name from the opening race, P8 in Maralja, um, but hoping for even more points here today, potentially Juan is into the pit lane, Gorlomi will take the lead of the Niagara J Prix, Enigma will follow him through, we've got Kazir and Figo side by side, Goose looking to pick up any scraps that he can, it's very wide but very clean from these two drivers, can they just keep it on the grey stuff as we head through the right hand straight and ah Kazir just slightly forced off by Figo there, he's not going to be pleased about that, Zelinda gets through, it's a big lag rocket but they've caught right up to the back of Goose with it, fantastic, uh, perhaps unintentional little move to get them ahead and Goose, I think Kazir being a bit bullied by the uh, Diaz racing cars at the moment, he's not going to be best pleased, uh, Enigma heads this train, although Golomi just a little bit up the road, uh, Golomi currently 5th in the championship, our highest driver who hasn't participated in both races so far this season, having taken a podium in the opening round, the Spanish J Pri, uh, Vepa, Hank, uh, R3 was already in there, so we've got a couple more drivers headed into the pit lane, uh, Gorlomi will be the first of them, we'll have a look at undercut radar as Zelinda goes through, where are our fast coming drivers, it's going to be Juan who goes through on the hard compound tyre, Gorlomi there, Ruski, uh, having not stopped yet on his hards, inherits, well, now fifth position. Uh, and we'll see who else. Enigma, who has pitted uh, onto that medium compound of tyre, currently in sixth behind the non-pitting Hungarian. The Dutchman slides his way up the inside, uh, going into the seventh corner of this circuit, I think. Uh, Gorlomi and Saucy, oh, it's a bit of a collision coming down into that very deceiving hairpin, one that you really need to be careful for. The uh, runoff on the outside can really trick you into thinking you've got a bit more room to work with than you actually do. Uh, it can be very difficult just to judge your line. Enigma onto the grass there, Kazir and Priya uh, involved as well. Priya running in the top 10, she won't be for much longer. She does have to come in off those hard compound tyres, uh, but not just yet as we see uh, Figo and Gorlomi side by side. This is second, third and fourth, or third, fourth, and fifth, rather, as Golomi looks at a move at the final corner to the outside. He goes crammed up against that wall. Will he pick up the scraps from Saucy and Figo here? Figo goes narrow, then wide. Golomi just drops back uh, massively to make sure that he doesn't get involved or swept up in any big collisions going on there, but looks like the entire field, bar two, 
uh, have stopped. Amwar and Priya are only drivers not to be into the lane at what is expected to be a two-stopper or a one-stopper. If you can make those tyres last, uh, those on the soft compound who started there and look to continue there will definitely be going for the more aggressive of the strategies. Saucy behind Figo at the moment. That's still the fight for second place. Juan absolutely dominating out in the lead of the race. Fantastic. Uh, from him, Figo and Saucy and Gorlomi, the rest of our top four. Up the inside goes Gorlomi. Saucy's going to fight that one. Takes all of the runoff and a bit more onto the grass as well. Enigma looks to put pressure on. He's in fifth at the moment. Goose running in a respectable sixth. The uh, former uh, UL main driver now down in, in JL. Testing out his abilities and mentoring the newer drivers among us. Uh, Kazir and Zalinda. Oh, that's not going to be a collision that either of them will be happy with. As almost no collision is really. Um, but they both go off, both at uh, turn 2 and turn 3, it looked like they're sliding into the grass, into the barrier, because they're weaving down the straight, he must be absolutely fuming with Zalinda at the moment, Fabrizio up the inside, can he make it 2 in 1, not quite, but he will take ninth place for the moment, it looks like we've got a fight for the lead and the podium hotting up, we'll just check on that after we see how this concludes, as Zalinda and Kazir wide again, through goes Fabrizio into 8th place, great little overtake, Juan and Figo battling it out now. Juan has stopped earlier. He's on the hards. Figo on the fresher medium compound tyre takes the lead of the race as we head on to the 17th and fourth to last lap here. We've got the lapped cars battling. We've got the lap ahead cars battling. It's Gorlomi and Enigma. It's Amwa and Mascabreus. Everyone has someone to fight here today around the falls it seems. Fifth and sixth. Amwa made a little mistake there. Pumpkin looking hot for a 7th place finish. Can he make it anything more than that? Priya is out! Priya, our second retirement of the race. Uh, she's decided she will take no further part. The last driver, I believe, to come into pit lane uh, and has decided to absolutely yeah, end her race then and there. Maybe a disconnect uh, or maybe intentional. We don't quite know, but it's Enigma now up. Uh, ooh, I think Juan was ghosted there. Maybe a penalty? Or perhaps hit a pit trigger or something like that. Can't have been. Must have been a penalty there. Um, but Juan was ghosted. The uh, Dutchman and the Belgian didn't fight too much. Unless there's a bit of a, a checkpoint issue. Surely not. But Juan, it looks like, is uh, bumping around all over the place. At least on my screen. Um, we'll check in with the drivers. Enigma still running in third place. We've got a really good fight for the lead going. Juan is definitely lagging here. And he needs to just keep this track position ahead of the fast Dutchman behind. And I think Priya has now left the game. Maybe a, a disconnect in the end. Golomi looking really good for a potential podium here. If he can keep it all within the white lines as we head towards the final lap of this race. It looks like Figo uh, coasting. Well, not quite coasting, but definitely deserving of a second consecutive win just as he took victory in Kyle Army. It might be yet another one for the Portuguese-Japanese driver, but what of the drivers in the purple cars behind him? It's Juan versus Enigma over second place. Will there be one final opportunity for Juan to go? He's gone way deep, and that will surely wrap it up in a nice bow for Enigma and for Figueira, who for the second race running wins the Niagara J Prix. Enigma will take second. Juan will be on the podium. Gorlomi just behind Goose in the end. Goose takes fourth. Pumpkin did make it up to sixth in the end. Saucy could only hang on to seventh position. It was Zalinda and Kazir, then Ruski, uh, and a big gap back between the top ten and the bottom nine, but Fabrizio, best of the rest in effect. And we'll see how these drivers finish for their teams. So it was the Ferro Verde of Figuera who won the US J Prix. Enigma uh, behind in second, then it was Juan, and Gorlomi and Goose, uh, fifth and fourth Gorlomi to take the fastest lap in the end. Pumpkin for the Raikar Supernova team, uh, sixth place for him, seventh for the big saucy Italian woman, eighth for Kazir, Sorry, 8th for Zelinda, 9th for Kazir, and 10th for Ruski in the Solaris. Uh, Fabrizio in 11th, uh, just ahead of Hank, who really impressed on debuts. 12th for him, right ahead of Kronk, a gap back to Masca Bravis, who is ahead of Amwa and Vepe Fox. The last of the runners, Priya, out towards the end, and R3 out on the very second lap of the race. Um, I'll do some interviews if we normally do after these races. I'll go to Goosey first. Goose. Uh, how was that race for you? P4 in the end.
Oh, geez, that was uh, that was a grind. It was a game of patience. That track is uh, just chaotic. Um, I really benefited by uh, slipping Enigma and getting back up into the pack after uh, taking some uh, crashes. So uh, it was a great battle with Gorlami on the last lap too. So uh, GG Gorlami, nice race. Indeed. Uh, and we'll go to um, Saucy if you want to say a word. Uh, don't worry if not, but um, fell down to seventh in the end there. Oh yeah. Uh, bit disappointing. Uh, You're running high earlier on. What What do you think happened? I don't know. I mean, I made a really terrible mistake at the start. Then uh, I just kept getting pushed off. I don't like this map. Yeah, it's fair enough. But still, not a very solid result for yourself and the uh, Solaris team. Double top ten there. So something to be proud of. Yeah, I. We should. Should be getting higher places though if we want to compete with uh, DS. True. And that's it for me. Bye. See ya. And uh, finally, we go to Enigma, our P2 man. Uh, in the end, uh, really good fight all race long that was for the podium, for the win even. Uh, if you would, if you do want to come onto the VC, then don't worry if not. But uh, how was that race for you? Man, that was something. I got the P1 because. Uh... And actually, very surprising uh, pull from uh, Saucy. Uh, that was like a very quick lap. Um, but he stalled on the start, so I got B1 and tried to get away, but just got swallowed back up. And then had some. Uh, actually, fell back uh, quite far. Uh, honestly, I, I expected not to be able to catch uh, one of uh, again, uh, who had like a crazy first stint. Um, but yeah, fought back throughout the field. I think I this is the first time I've uh, actually been uh, fighting this season, except for with Figo. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a fun race. Yeah, absolutely. It was a thoroughly entertaining race for uh, what it looked like pretty much everyone involved. I thought that was fantastic. Uh, thanks for watching this. We'll be back with uh, a lot more chaos probably next week in Canada. It's the Vancouver J Prix and a very flat out circuit. We'll see how our third tier drivers manage to navigate it. They've put on a fantastic show here today. That's all for now. Bye bye.